Yo, what's up, Pride Nation? We're back with another one on today. Get your popcorn ready because we got a good one. This is going to be interesting. We're going to take a deep dive and a deep look at cornerback Amani a Warrior on today. I've definitely been waiting to do this one for a long time because I knew that Amani a Warrior was going to be a steal and it's coming to fruition. Now, Amani a Warrior was drafted, I believe, in 2019, drafted in the fifth round, taken, I believe, 146 overall. And the things that Amani Awarie is doing right now is the things that you would love Jeff Okuda to be doing. Now, Jeff Okuda got hurt this season and he was injured. And uh, the jury is still out on what type of player Jeff Okuda is going to be. But Amani Awarie stepped in his shoes and really had a heck of a season this year, making a lot of plays out there. And yeah, at times getting beat too as well. It's going to happen. It's the NFL. You're not going to be able to stop every single player and everybody. Sometimes you're going to get beat and sometimes you're going to make the play. It's the NFL, man. You're not going to get every single play. But Amani Awarie, his growth from year one to year three has been phenomenal, man. You know, the kid has just continued to work on his game and you love this about him, man. Amani Awarie putting the hard work in. And definitely, I think that he deserves an extension with the team. Definitely, he deserves a big payday because this dude has been lights out. And he has pretty much stepped over to be the number one corner on the team for right now. Now, I know that Jeff Okuda will be coming back from his injury. But at the same time, right now, we got to put some respect on Amani Awarie's name because this dude is out there balling. You know, when you're taken in the fifth round and you feel as though that you could have been taken higher, because a lot of people said that Amani Awarie should have been taken in the second round. And he was slated to be in the second round, a second round selection. But he dropped all the way to the fifth round. So that just lets you know, you never know how the NFL draft is going to go. One minute you can be here and then the next minute you can be there. You just never know where you're going to get drafted at. But when you do get drafted and your name is called, when you get into the league, you make everybody know who you are. And that's what Amani Awarie is doing. And he's doing it with his play. You know what I'm saying? I know that, you know, there's a lot of uh, growth and maturity that he still has to be able to tap into. Um, but right now, what I'm looking at and what I'm seeing out on the field, I'm, I'm really happy, man. As a Detroit Lions fan, you got to be happy for what you're seeing out of Amani Awarie. Because... We, we talk about it all the time, and we talk about a corner needs at least three years to be able to be developed and to be able to grow because the corner position is one of the toughest positions to come into the NFL and play. There's a lot of assignments that you need to know as a corner. There's a lot of things that you need, especially if you're a good corner, because you might be following people all over the field. So you're going to be required to do a lot, and you're going to have to know a lot and retain a lot. But the biggest thing is being out there to make the plays. You know, you're not going to make every single play, but when it counts, you step up in the clutch and you make those plays. And Amani Awarie, even though the Lions season is not the season that a lot of fans uh, did not want to see this year, you know, being 2-11-1. Uh, and one, But at the same time, you got to look at the bright spots and the future. The future is bright in Detroit. Amani Awarie has been box office for the Lions and really, really honing in on that corner position and the other two guys fighting for who's going to be the other corner. Basically, you know, the job is still Jeff Okuda's job because he's third pick overall. But when you got a, a guy like Amani Awarie, who was taken in the fifth round, playing better than a guy that was drafted in the first round, third overall, mm, that just lets you know that it doesn't always mean where you were drafted at that you're going to be better than a guy that's taken in the fifth round or a guy that's taken in the, the third or the fourth round or even the seventh round. You know, whatever round that you've taken in after someone else, you don't know what type of player that guy is going to be until he puts the pads on on Sunday. And once Amani Awarie put those pads on, we didn't know what type of corner he was going to be. But he got better this season. And in year three, he's pretty much the guy on the team. 
And Amani Awarie, shout out to him, man, for making the improvements in uh, year three, going out there, being a ball hawk, and making plays for this Detroit Lions football team. And I believe that the Lions get a, a stud at safety, man. I would love it to be Kyle Hamilton, i.e. Kyle Hamilton. <laughs> but uh, they may not get Kyle Hamilton, though. But if they get Kyle Hamilton, I definitely think that this Lions defense will really, really take off, man. I really think that Jeff Okuda needs to have a bounce back year in year three. He's going to have to play phenomenal. If not, his spot may end up being taken by Jerry Jacobs, who has come on and played excellent football for the Lions, or it may be taken by Iffy. So if you, Jeff Okuda, you got to get yourself together, you know, rehab that injury. Once you get back out on the field, you got to prove to everybody else why you was taking number three. Now, I know Jeff Okuda doesn't have anything with him being taken number three, but at the same time, you want to see this guy develop and you want to see this guy blossom to where him and Amani Awarie are locked down corners and they're handling their business out there. So Amani Awarie has been doing his thing. I love everything that he's been bringing to the table, and that's being able to play hard and go out there and make plays. And that's what you need to do at the cornerback position. You have to go out there. You got to play hard. You got to focus on your assignments and make sure you know what you're doing out there. And Amani is really, really developing and growing into a stud at corner. So I love his development in year three. Year four, I believe sky's the limit because the Detroit Lions, all they have to do is continue to draft well. And if they draft well, this defense is going to get better. So this defense got a couple holes in it, but it is nothing that they it's nothing that they can't handle in the draft and patch those holes up and get those pieces that they need for this defense to go to the next level. But shout out to Amani Awarie for balling in year three and developing. All right, you guys, keeping it raw. I'm out of here. Peace.